Hello, welcome to another Becoming a Modern Man. We are playing Jeskai Ascendancy uh, this time around. Uh, this list is heavily based on this list uh, from Grand Prix Ho Copenhagen, which got some coverage. Um, would try and say this name, but I'm sure I would uh, mess it up. Um, called Eduardo anyway, but uh, um, yeah, so it's, it's basically based on this list. Um, guy playing it actually said not to play it on Magic Online, um, which Perhaps good advice to be honest. Um, it is quite difficult to play on Magic Online involved, so uh, it does take quite a lot of time to play the deck. Um, also, one of the things he was going for is a Wheel, wheel of Sun and Moon kill with uh, Thought Scour, which uh, I decided against using. Uh, instead, we just we were uh, running Flesh and Blood in our sideboard. So. Uh, that's just basically we use the blood side to um, essentially fling um, damage at our opponent. Um, just can speed up the kill a little bit if in uh, and uh, when time's important, which is on Magic Online, obviously. Um, but uh, looking at the deck list more generally, obviously we've got our three Just Guy Ascendancies uh, in the main deck. Then we've got one in the sideboard. That's because we've got Glittering Wish, which um, Basically acts as a tutor for Jeskai Ascendancy, and then we've also got a uh, wish board which allows us to find various cards out of the sideboard. Uh, obviously, Flesh and Blood, which I've already talked about, uh, Brook Decay to destroy various things. Um, got Slaughter Games as well as a, another potential uh, card to search up, though I haven't so far. Fire Justice as well, which is potentially a very big removal spell. I'm running Reborn Hope, which is some tech I saw in some of the older lists, Jeff Guy's Energy lists. Um, it's fairly cool. Um, if needs be, we can rebuy Flesh and Blood and just play it twice, which is a bit of a faster kill because we've got a couple of Glittering Wishes. Um, it's also, um, and you can also rebuy Jeff Guy's that have been blown up and what have you if you otherwise don't have access to them. Um, and then the Scarfgale Ritual, which is a nice little draw spell uh, while you're going off, um, just in case you uh, are at, at, at risk of fizzling. So that's the wishboard, um, also the rest of the sideboard, which I don't know why I've started with the sideboard, but I suppose I might as well finish talking about it now. Uh, we've got a couple of Path to Exiles to deal with problem creatures. Uh, I've run them front into a couple of Linvalas. Um, spell Skite's also a nuisance as it can um, redirect your uh, fate stitches abilities um, and uh, then we've got a couple of silence which is good against control slash really any kind of blue deck really uh, Leyline of Sancti prevents discard spells and uh, it's good against you know fast burn decks etc as well and then we've got wear and tear as well actually which is another multicolored card or counts as a multicolored card um, again destroying enchantments and artifacts which may get in your way um, which is, I don't know, Blood Moon and things like that um, that's probably a bad example <laughs> um, but yeah, any any card that would, re any artifact or enchantment that would generally get in the way of your combo uh, you can search up a wear and tear and uh, blow it up so main deck we've got our mana creatures in uh, Sylvian Carotid Birds of Paradise, and then we've got some fake stitches here, which are uh, a very good part of the deck. Um, we can uh, get these out of our graveyard as we're going off. Um, so, and, and untap more lands, which uh, is very important, generates more mana, and then allows you to go off even further. Um, Life from Loam is a very interesting card in the deck. Um, essentially, you can, once you've got a couple of mana creatures in play, or you know, a combination of Fate Stitcher, a or Sylvan Carotid, and the Fate Stitcher. You can replay this. Um, you do have to watch out for milling yourself, but you can just repeatedly replay it, basically buying it back with the uh, Jeskai Ascendancy. And then, obviously, you pick out lands out of your uh, graveyard, which gives you more cards to pitch to the Jeskai Ascendancy's uh, loot ability. So it's actually very, very good in the deck, um, and uh, also reduces your risk of uh, fizzling by uh, failing to draw more one mana spells. Um, 
which is basically what the rest of the deck is for the most part. Um, I've got Faithless Loot, Ingot Action Probes here in Visions. I've got it won the sleight of hand Thought Scour as well. That's the fourth feet feature up there. Um, so these are all our one mana draw spells, um, which uh, allow us to just go off with just one mana creature. And so we just keep perpetuating, untapping, making our creature bigger and bigger, and then hopefully we find some fate stitches which we uh, can then unearth, and uh, then we generate more mana, and then we can play things like Life from the Loam, and uh, or uh, Manamorphose, etc. Manamorphose actually generates mana, um, which is useful because um, obviously it, it's basically free. Um, and then we've got Ideas and Bounders as well, which is another one of, which is very good with uh, the Jeskai Ascendancy because it draws you three cards, which means you've got more stuff to pitch to your looter. Uh, the mana base is kind of complicated because uh, we are four colours. Um, this is probably not the most optimal arrangement of uh, of the lands. I think I'm missing a couple of Misty Rainforests, but... Um, yeah, um, slightly complicated mana base. Um, I think mana complement should be in here as well, but I only have a city of brass, so uh, that's what we're using. But yeah, slightly awkward. Um, also, we've got like a lot of games in the sideboard, so we need to access the black as well. Um, but it's never too bad. I think I think there are worse mana bases out there. Um, only a two cards haven't. Spoke about silence in the sideboard, um, obviously against a control deck. Slot pack gives you a, a, an out to some problem creatures, like I mentioned, things like Lin Vala is a particular problem. Um, and an idle on of rhetoric would be another problem. So, yeah, uh, it just gives you an out um, if you can find it. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's the deck. I suppose I'll just hold this as a deck tech and then get into the actual games. Um, because this has gone quite long, um, but yeah, uh, that's the basic deck list, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, see how exactly how it all comes together in the gameplay videos.